Back in 1998, when Pokemon first came out, Pikachu has always been painted as the mascot for Pokemon, but that hasn't been the case for the Pokemon TCG. Charizard has absolutely dominated in terms of collectability. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at the top 15 most expensive Charizard cards. Please note, these are only for the English cards that have been released. At number 15, we've got the National Championships Charizard. This was released for the Pokemon Nationals in 2004. It's a reprint of the EX Dragon Charizard, however it has the National Stamp. Currently it's priced at £80 and PSA 10 £300. There's only 84 of these at PSA 10. At number 14, we've got the first edition Blaine's Charizard from the Gym Challenge set released in 2000. Currently it's at £100 and PSA 10 is at £500. 232 of these exist in PSA 10. At number 13, We've got Charizard from the Plasma Storm set released in 2013. It's also currently sitting at £100. At PSA 10, it's worth £600 of only 70 existing. This is definitely a card that will go up in future. It's a five-year-old set and there's not a high population of PSA 10s. Also, for a fun fact, there's 420 of them at PSA 9. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only Double G. No, no. At number 12, we've got the first edition Dark Charizard card from the Team Rocket expansion in 2000. This is definitely one of my favourite looking Charizards, it was a really cool set. I explained a little bit about it in my last video. Currently, it's also sitting at £100, with a PSA 10 value of around £600 as well. However, there's a huge population rate of 335 PSA 10s. At number 11, it's the first Charizard EX card ever released. It's from the set EX Fire Red and Leaf Green released in 2004. Currently, it's worth £130 and at PSA 10, £500. There's a population of 158. It's quite surprising that this card is still relatively cheap considering its age and how cool it looks. Honourable mention number one. We've got the fourth print Charizard from the base set. Now the reason why I thought this would be an honourable mention rather than an actual inclusion in the list is because this set isn't very well known and was only released in the UK. At the end of the base set life cycle, Wizards of the Coast decided to print off another print run but this only made its way to the UK. However, you can tell if it's a full print set if it's got the years 1999 to 2000 at the bottom of the card. Because of the limited availability and the short print run, this Charizard card is worth £100 and in PSA 10, it's worth a whopping £3,000. Not only that, there's only 8 of these in PSA 10. This could be because the full print set wasn't actually originally known about. People could send in their base set Charizards that could be full print and would get graded as a regular base set Charizard. At number 10. We've got the Rainbow Charizard card from the Burning Shadow set released in 2017. Straight away this card had a very high price point at £75 for when it first came out. But since then it's doubled to £150 and we're looking at £450 for a PSA 10. There's 580 of these PSA 10. At number 9. We've got the Charizard from the Expedition base set in 2002. This card has crept up over the years and right now it's standing at £150 and PSA 10 is at £1,200. There's only 138 of these at PSA 10. At number 8, we've got Shining Charizard from Neo Destiny in 2002. We're not going to talk too much about this one because it's only the regular edition and we've got the first edition one still to come. Spoiler alert. This one's at £200 and at PSA 10, £550 with 230 population. At number 7, this is definitely one of the better reprints of the original base set Charizard. It's the Charizard from Legendary Collection released in 2002. This set wasn't released in Japanese and it was the first English set to include Reverse Hollows. This is another set that has crept up in price over the years and has become very popular with collectors. Right now we're looking at £270 for this card. And at PSA 10 it's at £900 with only 64 of these available at PSA 10. So quite a low number. At number 6, we've got another newer card. This is the Staff Stamped Pre-Release Charizard from the Evolution set in 2015. This was one of four cards available at the pre-release, but all pre-release cards come with a Staff Stamp, which are only available from the tournament organisers. Since the tournament organiser only got one of each Staff card, this card is very hard to get, and for a 3 year old card, it's already at £300 with a PSA 10 of £1,700. Out of population of only 34, this card will definitely go up in price and something to look out for. Honourable mention number two, 
Reverse Crystal Charizard from the Skyridge set in 2003. We're not going to talk about this one because like before there is a better version of this coming up but currently it's sitting at £300 and at PSA 10 £600 with a population of 77 The reason for the low price and the low popularity? Well it is an old car but also there is a better version of it. There is the hollow version which we'll see very soon. At number 5 we've got Gold Star Charizard from the set Dragon Frontiers in 2006. This is by far one of the coolest Charizard cards they have ever made regarding the artwork and the colours. Because it's gold star, that means it's a shiny Pokemon and everyone loves shiny black Charizard. This card is currently worth £350 and at PSA 10 it's worth a whopping £3,000. With only 74 at PSA 10, this is definitely a card that will just keep going up in the future. At number 4. Is first edition Shining Charizard from the Neo Destiny series in 2002. Just like the one we saw before, it has exactly the same artwork but a first edition stamp. That's because it was in the first print run of the set that only lasted a couple of months. Currently, this card is sitting at £600 in near mint condition, but in gem mint at PSA 10, we're looking at £2,000 and at 171 population. It's a £1,000 less than the Gold Star Charizard, but that's probably because there's a lot more available and because the Gold Star Charizard looks a lot nicer. Coming in at third place, we've got the Shadowless Charizard from the base set. The Shadowless series comes after the first edition base set, but before the Unlimited. For those who don't know what a Shadowless card is, it's when the card has got no shadowed border like it does in the Unlimited base set. The text can also be seen a bit thinner as well as other differences on the card, but the main one being the Shadowless border. Ungraded in near mint condition, we're looking at £1,000 at the moment. And PSA 10? Well, it's at £10,000. Aside from the first spot, this has the highest price point for a PSA 10 card, and that is simply due to the limited availability for it. In second place, we've got the Crystal Charizard from the Skyridge set in 2003. Just like the reverse, it has the same artwork, however it's hollow, and that makes a huge difference. The style of artwork used for this card is remarkable. I've spoken about this before in previous videos. You can just tell a lot of effort and thought went into every bit of detail. We're currently looking at about £1,100 for it ungraded, and at PSA 10, we're looking at £2,500. There's only 138 of them at PSA 10, and this is definitely a card that will keep going up in the future. Before we get into first place, we're going to take a look at honourable mention number three, full position only Charizard. The reason why this isn't included into the main list is because this card shouldn't exist. This card came from a test packet that was only given to employees working on the set at the time. It's actually very interesting how these came into existence and I'll save the story for another video. But since this card shouldn't exist and a very few do, it's got a very high price point. Ungraded is worth £2,150. And I'm actually unsure how much it's worth since that you can't get these in PSA 10. PSA do not grade these. They did grade these originally, but they stopped doing it and replaced it with a green label instead. However, looking at the listings on eBay, it looks to be between £6,000 and £8,000. But I don't know when the last one has sold, so it's very hard to know how much it could be worth. This is definitely a card for the hardcore Charizard collectors though. Coming in at first place. We all know this card, everyone uses it for the thumbnail. All those bad pricing videos done by Buzzfeed or the ones you see on Facebook, they use this card. It's the first edition Shadowless Charizard from the original first edition base set released in 1999. Now we talk about prices going up over the years, but this one really takes the cake. Back in 2013, this card could have easily been bought for for about three, four hundred pounds. But today for a near mint first edition Charizard, we're looking at £5,000. Wait until we get to PSA 10. PSA 10 a few years ago was about £3,000 and now it's up to £31,000. And this is coming from last year where two of them were sold for $40,000 each. At a population of only 119, you can see why the original Charizard from 20 years ago has gone up so much in value. This is the card everyone talks about and everyone wants to own. It's kind of like having an exclusive painting from another artist. So it's not only because it's an old card, it's because it's the face of Pokemon cards. Everyone being excited as a kid to get the original Charizard, but not many people had the first edition Charizard that was released for the Pokemon's original print run. 
Right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was incredibly fun looking up all the prices of the card. It was quite surprising how much some of them have gone up by over the few years. Were you surprised about some of these prices? Because I was when I was looking it up. Please let me know in the comments below what your favourite Charizard card is. Was it one from the list or was it something that wasn't on the list? If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like. And if you really liked it, please subscribe and check out my other videos. It really helps out a lot. I better head off, gonna look for all my Charizard cards now. I'll see you next time. Bye.